Hey, this is Dr. Fast here, and in this video I will show you this new Motorola Wi-Fi home video monitoring system I picked up. Now this one I got from Walmart, and the reason is because they actually have a bonus double pack. So there are two cameras in this package, whereas if you look online, I think even Amazon has only one camera for about $70, and this one you can get two for $90, so it's a great deal. I have been looking into buying one of these video monitoring systems for a while now, and the reason I went with the Motorola over other ones from, say, Netgear or D-Link is because there are some good standard features this one comes with. For example, it has two-way audio communication, it comes with night vision feature, and it has a 720p camera for streaming. Also, it has a temperature monitor, so you can monitor the ambient temperature of your room. Now, this camera is not recommended for use outdoor, it's only for indoor use. Let's have a look on the side of the box. Gives you all the features and what system requirements uh, it requires. Now, as you can see, it has free unlimited streaming, free motion detection and alert, free in-app video recording, and also the minimum requirements is for the smartphone, if it's iOS version 7, Android 4.0, if you're running on a PC, you need Windows 7 or Mac OS 10.7, uh, compatible with Chrome 24, IE 9, Safari 6, and Java 7. And here's the back of the box. Now the app that you need to download and use on your smartphone is called Hubble. It's a free app and allows for free unlimited streaming. Let's open the box and see the content inside. So here are the power supplies for the two cameras. There's a user guide here. So here's one of the camera. Here's a close-up look at the camera and let me go over some of the features on this. On the left side here, this is the camera lens. This is a color CMOS, that's one megapixel. And right above that, this is the light sensor to turn on and turn off the night mode. Now this plastic ring here you see is actually the lens for the infrared LEDs behind it. There are a total of seven different infrared LEDs behind this. And above that, this little hole is a microphone for the audio. And in the middle here is the LED. Over here on the right, this is a speaker for the two-way audio. And the base is a swivel base so you can rotate this to different angles. Well, the back, as you can see, allows for more tilt compared to the front. The built-in Wi-Fi in this camera is 802.11 B, G, and N. If you turn this around to the back, you'll see this wire sticking out. Some people think this is the antenna. Actually, this is the temperature probe to measure the ambient temperature. This is not the antenna. On the left side here, you'll see a pair button here. You need to press this for three seconds to initiate the initial setup. But once you finish setting this up, you don't need to use this button. Above that, there's an on-off switch. And while the power is plugged into the back, you can actually turn this camera off. On the back bottom side of this camera, this is a micro USB plug. That is for your power plug. And here is a plug for the power. On the power cord, there's a warning tag. Basically, it tells you that if you're going to use this near any children, especially in a crib, got to watch out because this cord can be dangerous. You don't want to have this cord wrap around a little baby inside a crib. Here's a look at the bottom side of the camera. You can see there are two holes you can use to mount this permanently on a wall. Now, keep in mind, there are no screws that come with this. So if you want to permanently install this somewhere on a wall, you will have to supply your own screws. To do the initial setup of this camera, you must download the Hubble app either on your iPad, iPhone, or Android tablet, or Android smartphone. You cannot use a PC to set this up. So here I'm on my Android tablet. I'll go into Play Store. I'm going to search for Hubble. And it finds it. Hubble for Motorola Motors. Select that. 
go ahead and install it. Accept. Go back to the home screen and then you see the Hubble app is installed right here. Go ahead and open that up. So here, if you're using this app for the first time, it's going to ask you to enter your username, email, and password, and then confirm your password to set up a new account. So after you enter all your information, go ahead and click on Create. At the bottom left-hand corner, you see Add Camera. We'll click on that. This screen tells you to plug the power into the camera. Wait a couple of minutes, and when the camera LED starts flashing, you press the Continue at the bottom of the screen right here. To power up the camera, plug this power plug into the back. After about 30 seconds, the camera will beep twice and the LED at the top will start flashing red. Click on continue. Then on the back of the camera, there's a button here for pair. Press that for three seconds. You hear a short beep. Ready for pairing. Now press the search for camera. Select the Wi Fi network. Click continue at the bottom. Enter your password. Connect. So now it tells you that it has successfully set up the Hubble camera. So at the bottom you can click on the view live camera. So right now you see the image of the camera. And the audio you're hearing is actually through the camera. So here I'm on my PC and right now I have Internet Explorer open and all you have to do is put in the web address for hubbleconnected.com slash Motorola and then you'll get to the login screen. After you log in then you'll be able to choose your camera that you've set up. Now on this system I have four cameras connected and if you click on this icon right here you'll be able to select different cameras. So I have one for downstairs, one in the garage that you're looking at right now, one in the upstairs hallway, and then one uh, facing the front of the house. So I'll go through uh, each one very quickly and show you what the view looked like during daytime. So here's the uh, downstairs camera. And going back to the garage camera. Switch to the hallway camera. And here's a camera that's facing outside to the front of the house. Now let me show you the settings you can do if you're using your browser. Over here you can enable and disable the notification for any movements it detects. Also if it detects any uh, sound you can also enable notification for this. As you can see I've disabled that right now. Uh, there is notification for uh, low temperature, notification for high temperature, and then also you can change for the uh, temperature to be Celsius or Fahrenheit. You can adjust the volume of the sound it picks up. Here's a volume bar here. Now, if you did enable any of the notification, you'll see this timeline icon show up. That's one right here. Go ahead and click on that. And then you can actually play any of these clips that are recorded on the Hubble server. 
and right here below each clip you'll see the timestamp of the date and time so let me play one for you so you can see this here's another one There's also a download button on the left bottom corner, so if you click on that, you can download this video clip. Here I'm on my Android tablet, so if you are using an Android device and using the Hubble app, this is the view you'll get. So you can see here I have the four cameras I've set up here, and if you want to view one of them, just select one of them. And then the live streaming will appear. Now on the top right hand corner you see that there are two pages you can select. Currently is on the now, so this is the live streaming. If you select the earlier, that will give you a list of all the video clips that recorded, pre-recorded. And you can look at each one or you can delete all of them. Let's go back to the live viewing mode right now. and we'll go back to the main page if you select the gear icon on each camera you can customize some settings on this so here there are two choices camera details and notification sensitivity we'll select the camera details and at the top here you can change the camera name to a name that you want to use to identify that camera over here is flip image so if you are installing this camera upside down you can enable the flip image so that the image is right side up. Open up the notification sensitivity. Here you can set the sensitivity for motion detection and you turn on and off. Below that is the notification for sound. You can set the sensitivity and also turn that on and off. Below that is going to be the temperature notification. So you can set the low temperature and the high temperature. On the top right hand corner there's a settings page you can select and here you can actually enter a time for the do not disturb so you enter a number of minutes you want the notification to stop notifying you. So here's my Samsung Galaxy S5 mobile phone and I'll show you how the notification work on a cell phone. So on the upper left hand corner you see the Hubble icon show up And over here, you see the hallway cam, motion detected. You can click on that. And then you can play the events. The time it takes for you to receive the notification is very quick. I would say from the time the motion was detected till the time that you received the notification, it was maybe about 8 seconds. Now, one thing you need to keep in mind is that the notification only works if your Hubble app is running in the background. If you completely exit out of the app, then you will not be receiving any notification on your phone. So as you can see, the camera is very easy to set up. The app is very intuitive, it's very easy to use. What I'll be doing is I will do another follow-up video after I use this for a couple of days and then I will give you more examples of uh, daytime video clips and nighttime video clips so you have an idea of the performance of these cameras and how well it works anyways I hope you enjoyed watching this video if you have any questions leave a comment below and if you like the video please subscribe thank you